Hi everybody, you can now preview your web apps on a real iOS simulator running mobile Safari, all fully within IDX. Here's what makes this really cool. We've always had the ability to test our apps on a desktop browser. Now what the desktop browser makes challenging is outside of checking your app on the right screen size or viewport dimensions, the underlying runtime, underlying behaviors of a mobile app are not gonna be presented. You're gonna be seeing the desktop version of all the various quirks that you might wanna test for. That is not the case with the iOS simulator in IDX, which is running on actual Mac hardware behind the scenes. What this means is that we can now test our app in a way that is almost identical to how someone would be testing on an actual physical device. In this case, I have a bunch of device types I can test on. I'm testing on the iPhone 14 Pro, and I have the V plus 12 template currently open, which is one of the many templates we now ship as part of IDX. And you can see you can click on it, it's fully interactive. Any custom UI that I might expect in an actual iPhone is also available for me to test against. Now, what I wanna show though is another example where the ability to test on actual iOS hardware adds a level of confidence in making sure we build an app that truly works for everybody. What we have here is an animation, and you can see it's a shape that is bouncing up and down. The way this animation is specified is entirely in CSS, and the exact animation details, where you can see this little wobble at the top of the bounce and at the bottom of the bounce, is specified using a linear timing function. The linear timing function is a fairly new addition to CSS, which gives us much greater control over all the properties and how they animate over a period of time. Something historically, if you wanna do this, would require us to the third party library or often relying on JavaScript. So here in CSS, we can now create more realistic animations. Now, this looks pretty good on the desktop version of my browser. The shape is bouncing appropriately, exactly the way I have defined it in my CSS. Let me check to see how it works on my mobile Safari in the iOS simulator. As we can see, there is no bounce. The shape is standing completely still. And the reason is that as of this recording, mobile Safari on iOS does not support the linear timing function. And so what I can do though, is provide a fallback animation so that on devices where you support the linear timing function, you see the bounce exactly the way it is currently defined. And on devices where you don't support the linear timing function, you see an animation that works on that particular environment. So let me go and quickly paste some code in here to show this at work. You can see that now by default, all browsers will see a cubic bezier timing function that gives an animation that has a bounce that is approximately as good as what we have defined with the linear timing function. And on browsers that support the linear timing function, I'm using the add supports keyword here to make that work, the full linear timing function is actually used. So in this case, if I refresh my page, you can now see that the animation on my iPhone it works really well. There's a bounce, the shape is moving. And on desktop, of course, you get the full effect of the linear timing function as opposed to the cubic bezier timing function. Now, so things look much better. And because IDX provides the IO simulator with mobile Safari out of the box for me to test my web app, I was able to very quickly identify and figure out a workaround for a missing browser capability fully for my browser. Now, this is much faster than me testing on my own personal iOS device, which may not be practical often during development, or worse, shipping it live and waiting for someone on an actual iOS device to file a bug. So with that, do preview your web apps on a mobile browser running in an actual iOS simulator, and let us know what you think.